Okay guys, uh, working on my 2009 BMW X5, replacing the um, lower control arm uh, on both sides. And um, I've been having problems with the, uh, with the knock coming from the suspension. And this is a E70 um, 2009 4.8 uh, with the adaptive uh, suspension. And um, I've been hearing some uh, suspension noise popping and uh, trying to figure out. I replaced the um, the uh, upper the uh, upper control arm, and that did not solve the problem. And uh, so now tackling the uh, lower control arms and uh, see if that will uh, resolve the problem. And um, so just want to show you. Uh, if you having the same problem and you want to tackle it and uh, I'll give you some points on how to uh, do that I've already replaced the uh, the driver side so this is the uh, passenger side first thing what you want to do is uh, remove the plastic cover that sits underneath here and that should allow you to have access to the uh, rear bolt and nut uh, for the uh, control arm and then um, once you um, once you remove that, then your second bolt will be right. Uh, let me see if I can right at the uh, the fork of the um, of the uh, strut. The strut arm right there. Let's see if this camera will focus. Here we go, right there. And then the third one, the third bolt will be or the third nut will be um, holding the um, um, the wheel assembly over here so um, so we're gonna try to tackle that and uh, see if we can um, solve the problem but um, if you have any issues with the uh, suspension noise popping uh, try to um, uh, replace this part and um, Let's see, I will give you guys a feedback and hopefully this will resolve the issue. But uh, the uh, driver side um, was really bad and that showed that uh, that could have been the uh, issue to what I'm having. So this is the, uh, this is the uh, driver side, as you can see, it's really bad. So um just gonna go ahead and replace both of them and hopefully that would resolve the issue. But uh, uh, like I said, first remove the uh, plastic cover and once you get that out, that should uh, give you access to the uh, rear ball, the nut for the um, control arm and then just remove that. And that's uh, it's a size 22 in the back and then 21 the um the front one and then the uh, the one that sits on the uh, wheel assembly you want to use the one and one sixteen one and one sixteen that's the um that's the uh, perfect tool for the one that sits on the uh, wheel assembly so let me go ahead and uh, remove it and then we'll we'll see how it um, help in resolving the problem okay guys I just got the uh, lower control arm popped out at the bottom, so I'm gonna try to wiggle out to get it down. There we go. There we go. This is the uh, the passenger side, really bad, really bad too. And uh, hopefully, this is the problem that I have with this vehicle. And uh, once I get that. Um, replaced it will show a difference and um, get rid of the noise so this is the new one that I just bought so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and uh, replace it so easy process so what you do come from the bottom put it in place here and then line it up.
line it up. And, uh, it's in place. And from here, just gonna go ahead and slide the ball at the end. See if the ball lands up. Okay, come on, buddy. Okay. Okay, first ball in. I'm gonna put the second one. I'm gonna go ahead and raise it up. Second one in, and then just tie up the nuts. Number one. And where's my rear one? There's my rear one right there. Two. I'm just gonna hold them in place. So that everything's run properly. Okay guys, the uh, lower control arm has been installed, it's in place, it is right there, got the bolt really nice and tied, there it is, brand new, as you can see I also replaced the uh, stabilizer arm right there, so hopefully this will resolve the problem, so this is one nut that you have to, a uh, nut and bolt that you have to remove. The other one is uh, uh, tucked in behind this uh, plastic cover. That's why I say you have to remove this plastic cover first to access it. And then this is the third one. And uh, hopefully this will uh, solve the issue that I have with this vehicle. And uh, that will. Uh, Help me so much and hopefully this will also help somebody that uh, having this issue um, unfortunately you got a couple of um, control arms with ball joints that um, can be culprits so just be patient and figure out exactly what you're dealing with alrighty please like the channel if you uh, see that uh, or if you find this really helpful like the channel and if you can subscribe that would really Help. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.